Hello. In this section, we are going to explain what is RF module, transmitter, receiver, and transceiver. We start with RF module. An RF module is a small electronic circuit which is used to receive and transmit or transceive radio waves on one of the number of carrier frequencies. So we told before that actually we send out our data using a carrier signal. So uh, actually the, the data which is uh, sent or received, it has a carrier frequency and it has a high frequency. An RF module is a functional integration of a semiconductor devices. So we expect that we have lots of blocks and devices inside our R RF module. For example, uh, we can say these kind of modules like 802.11 VLAN, ZigBee, Bluetooth, Bluetooth accessories, GPS, RFID, they're all, these are all modules and applications. For example, as you see here, this is a HC06 Bluetooth RF transceiver, transceiver module. We are going to explain what is transceiver actually. So I just want to show that what is module here and what what is the you know dimensions here. As you see, this is like this is a main you know the core and these are like uh, you know the the capacitance or it can be resistance here actually. And this is the antenna here as you see. This is remote control based on C8051 with uh, 433 MHz radio module. So this is the actually the you know the carrier frequency. And uh, as you see here it's like a for example uh, this is this is like a receiver and you know uh transmitter so basically this is this is our transmitter and this is receiver so these are like two separate modules so this circuit only transmits signals and this is this one only receives it And uh, this is uh, also another example. It's a transceiver. Again, we we will explain what is transceiver. Actually, I know maybe some people don't know what is transceiver. I just want to show you some examples. So this is the main block. As you don't have, we are not going to explain this in details. But as you see, like we have lots of blocks inside our uh, transceiver. And as you see, this is a, this is antenna again here. The antenna part, small. And we can have like see this is antenna, antenna matching part, lots of blocks, modulator, demodulator, lots of things that we need here. Okay, I will start with a transmitter. A transmitter or radio transmitter is an electric de ele electronic device which produces radio waves with the help of antenna. The transmitter generates a radio frequency current applied to the antenna, which in turn radiates radio waves. So, uh, th it's very simple that we have a, a you know a transmitter here, and we have antenna, and this transmit gives a signal here. Actually, it can be like imagine it's a current. So uh, it's like a current here, and uh, we know that if we have current here, we will have like you know electromagnetic waves. Basically, this is the way that we can, you know, send the signal, which we explain it in the antenna uh, section. So this is the actually the the function of transmitter. A transmitter generates radio waves for communication, radar, and navigational purpose. A transmitter can be separate uh, piece of electronic equipment or integrated circuit IC. We we call it like IC within another electronic device. So, yeah, it can be you know. It can be uh, discrete or it can be like integrated IC, both. This includes audio from microphone. Yeah, I mean the data, as we explained, we we actually we frequency shift the, the data. So data can be like uh, audio, video, digital signal, everything. As we said before, the transmitter combines the information signal that is to be carried with the RF signal, which generates the radio wave. So yeah, we combine this data with the high frequency. 
signal and be sent out it to the like, free space or air. So this is the f uh, function. This is the actually let's say job of transmitter to uh, to combine our data with the high frequency carrier and send the signal. Now we have a receiver. A radio receiver is a device that receives radio waves and converts the information which is carried by them into a uh, usable form. So again, the same thing. We have a, a block and we have antenna again. So waves come, and again they change. They they are converted to electric signal, and it goes inside. So basically, here we are doing the same thing. Now we like uh, in the in the first part we have like data. This is for receiver actually. For for sorry for a transmitter. L low frequency. We make it a high frequency, so frequency shift. Then, uh, when we receive from the receiver, again we separate it. We separate the data from this high, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> high frequency signal. So again, it's a low frequency. So this is the old process. This is a transmitter, and this is receiver part. So like we we said that we have a signal here, which is which is a low frequency. We shift it to the high frequency, and uh, we send it. When we it comes to the receiver, we we actually shift it back to the to same place to actually demodulate or separate the data. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rasoft.com. Rasoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The RF basic concepts and fundamentals course is provided free at our website. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with pass status, RASAF would provide the RASAF radio frequency certificate. The topics are chosen with advice from RF engineers in top industry companies like Apple, Qualcomm, Broadcom and Skyworks who are missing candidates with these skills.